Hey, what's up? Tom Murdoch here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial, uh, at least walk through my configuration to set up my Zoom H6 multi-input audio device into my MacBook Pro running OBS and allowing my Stream Deck to mute individual microphone inputs of my Zoom H6. Now, in the Windows world, this is pretty straightforward and it will work just about out of the box because with ASIO, ASIO drivers, you have visibility to the individual channels of a multi-input device from applications such as OBS. But in the Mac, it doesn't seem to work the same way. At least I haven't figured it out. So ultimately my goal is I want to be able to mute different microphones connected to my Zoom H6 using a Stream Deck. That simple. So let's get started. We're going to do the full end-to-end. -end. I've got a MacBook Pro. It does not have uh, any of this configured yet. So we're going to jump in and start to walk through all this. Okay, getting my screen record going. Okay, screen is recording, so now I'm gonna launch OBS. And in OBS, I've got a few things configured already. I've got a few scenes. And the way I set up my OBS is I use nested scenes. Now that microphone input that you're seeing on the uh, audio meter there, that's coming from two microphones. I've got this uh, MXL 990 on channel one of my Zoom H6, and I've got this Sennheiser plugged into channel four. And so if I disable both channels, one disabled, four disabled, now you can see that the H6 audio has gone completely silent. If I enable one, now this is the MXL 990, and if I enable four, we see the audio coming in from the Sennheiser. Now, in OBS, it's all coming into the same place. It doesn't know the difference. So if I set up a button to enable or disable this scene, it's going to disable all my microphones, which for absolutely no cost, that may be all you need. You know, you may either want your mics on or your mics off. But in my case, every now and then, I set up an additional microphone for somebody who may not do much talking, you know, maybe just someone sitting on the sidelines or someone who might be directing the show. And every now and then they want to chime in and say something. So now they got to reach over to the Zoom H6 and enable their microphone input when they have the stream deck sitting right in front of them. So what I want to do is just give them a button on the stream deck. So let's start with our first step, which is deciding on the solution. And after trying a handful of different options, third party options, and unfortunately, the one I settled on, which I think is awesome, it does cost $100. And that's called Loopback from Rogue Amoeba. So let's jump right into the Rogue Amiga Amoeba website. And we're going to download the software. Uh, it does come with a trial version. So uh, we're going to do the free download.
Oh, forgot about that. Okay, now it's done. I could have waited one second. There we go. Okay, let's. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close OBS for now. Because it is really straining my laptop along with the uh, screen recording that's going on. So if we go into Finder, then we'll go into the Downloads folder, and there we see Loopback. So let's go ahead and get that running. And I'm not sure if there's an install or if it just runs, you know, right from the, the download file. Okay, we're going to install. We're learning together. I created a user on my MacBook called Streaming Service. There's no password. It's just in case I have people come in and want to drive their own podcasts and use my laptop since everything's all set up for it. Uh, system extensions blocked. Okay, we're going to go ahead and enable this real quick. Oh, this this uh, laptop's really struggling to do this screen record. So we need to unlock first, and then we're going to allow. Okay, we are going to have to restart, but, but let's just say not now. But we do need to restart for this to work. I'm going to go ahead and stop the screen recording so that I can do the, uh, so that I can run the loopback installation. So let's stop the screen recording. And then we'll do a restart. Okay, let's get the screen recording going with a shift command five. We're doing a full screen, so let's hit record. And now let's get into loopback. All right, next. Okay, it's just a little walkthrough. Okay, and I'm by no means a loopback expert. I've only been using it for a couple days, but I really liked the interface and the simplicity of it. So let me show you what I do. I'm going to go ahead and delete the stuff that it's uh, kind of coming with out of the box. All right. So I've deleted everything. All existing devices have been deleted. So I'm going to create a new virtual device. And I'm going to call it Zoom H6 Mic 1. Now I'm going to take this uh, pass-through device and delete it. And then I'm going to add H6. And do you see how, see this is really cool. This is what I like about it. See right now I'm talking on microphone four. I'm gonna to switch to microphone one. Okay, so now we're on the MXL 990 through channel one of the Zoom H6. But we can see how it's being mapped in Mac OS. Mac OS sees it as channel three. So here's how simple it is. Let's just delete the existing lines because we don't want to use that uh, one, two input, that stereo little connector on the front of the Zoom H6. We want to use the mic channel one input. So we're just going to do this. Drag the line there, drag the line there because my inputs are mono. So I want them to come out of both speakers when someone's listening to my podcast. And guess what? That's it. We've just installed mic one. Now we're going to do new virtual device. And we're going to call this Zoom H6 mic four. And we'll do the same thing. We'll delete the pass through device. 
And for sources, we'll click H6. And now let's switch back to channel four on the Zoom H6, just to confirm that it's hitting the place where we expect it to. Let's delete the existing one and two connector lines. And we're gonna take a line from six to left and another line from six to right. And guess what? We are done. So let's go into OBS. And now let's add the two mic channels. So here's what we'll do. Let's just go ahead and completely get rid of this H6 USB device. And that's a scene technically. So what we'll do is we'll go to sub scenes and we'll also delete it here. Sub scenes, delete. Okay. So now let's create a new scene and we're going to call this H6 mic 1. Okay, so for H6 mic 1, now we're going to add a source audio input capture and let's call it H6 mic 1. And for device, now we see Zoom H6 Mic 1. And now that we've got that added, we can uh, make sure it's enabled. Ah, I forgot to enable it on my Zoom H6. There we go. Now I've just enabled it on my Zoom H6. See, so here's, here's what's nice. And let me turn the volume down because I've got it up really high. Actually, I usually drop this down uh, negative four and a half. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm talking in on the MXL 990. I'm barely, well, I'm going a little hot. Let's drop the Zoom H6 down to a six, and then we've got a negative four or five on the OBS input. So I think we're looking good there. See, so now let's add another scene, H6, mic four. And in this scene, let's add a device, audio input capture, and we're going to call it H6 mic 4. And for this one, we'll make the obvious choice, zoom H6 mic 4 for device. And now we see that it is also hot. Let's drop that down uh, negative four and a half. And then from there, I'll tweak it on the... Uh, so this is actually the Sennheiser. I'm right in front of the Sennheiser right now. Now, if I turn off channel four on my Zoom H6, that should disable. You know, that's the way, without using a third-party app, that's really the only way to disable individual mics. But I wanted it to be controlled on the Stream Deck. So there you go. I've got channel four turned on. I've got channel one turned on. I no longer have to touch the Zoom H6. So now let's go back to what I call my main view. And that's really just my main scene. Now we're gonna add two sources, which are a scene. So we're gonna add the scene mic one. And now we're gonna add another scene the mic two scene, or well, mic four. Okay, I'll just rearrange those. Okay, so check it out. Now we've got mic four and mic one. So they're too close together, so it kind of makes it look like the same thing is happening on both. But if I come over to the MXL 990 and whisper, and if I turn my Sennheiser away, then maybe, maybe it's less obvious. 
or more obvious. Okay, but anyway, neither one of these is being picked up in my video. Uh, that's all coming from the Rode Wireless Go. So from the Stream Deck, I would just program sources to control mic one, and now it's muted, and mic four, and now that's muted. If I want to re-enable mic one, I just re-enable that source in the scene using the Stream Deck. And if you want to see more on that, we can do another tutorial. I got a couple other Stream Deck tutorials lined up. I know it's kind of, uh, this is not a very polished tutorial I know, but really all I needed was to get pointed in the right direction. Most of you guys using OBS are pretty much geniuses anyway. You know how to make all this stuff work and for somebody that might be new to using a multi-channel audio input device, I wanted to just show you how I handle this problem. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, you know, I wanted to do something to help others. I've been watching OBS tutorials nonstop for the past week, and there's a lot of helpful tutorials out there and some of you guys do really great like professional looking tutorials and I know I'm not at that level yet but I'm going to keep going and you know anytime I learn something that I can't find a tutorial on I'm going to try to you know share that information with others I could not find anything on how to get this Zoom H6 to work in multi input mode and and be controllable from OBS and my stream deck so I wanted to just put this out there to help someone else. So if I can help one person, that'll make it worthwhile. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one very soon. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, that'll help. Uh, maybe give me some motivation to know that people do appreciate you know, this information. So thanks so much, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.